Another example. So in this example, we have the following scenario. This guy says, find the volume of tetrahedron bounded by the planes x plus 2y plus z equals to 2, x is 2y, x is 0, and finally, z equal to 0. Okay, very good. We're trying to find the volume. It means that we are interested in using the double integral. First of all, what's the base like? Always remember that we have a base. On top, the ceiling is obvious. The ceiling is z equals to 2 minus x minus 2y. But what's the base like? You know that z is equal to 0. It means that everything is restricted to x, y plane. Take a look. Here we have our, let's graph it later. We have our x equals to 2y. We have x equal to 0. And then z equal to 0 gives us x plus 2y plus 0 equals to 2. So x plus 2y is equal to 2. Very well. So let us graph this. See what do we have here. X-axis. And then here we have our y-axis. Let me just graph this here. Y is not isolated on any part, but X is equal to 2Y. So Y is equal to X divided by 2. Okay. okay let me graph it like this. So 1, 2, and then we have 3. So when X is equal to 2, my Y is equal to 1. So let's just have this guy here. This is y equals to x divided by 2. Just move it a little bit up here. Okay, here we go. What else do we have? We have x plus 2y equals to 2, or y is equal to 2 minus x divided by 2. You can find the intersection between these two as well. So when x is equal to 2, this is going to be 0. When your y is equal to um, then x is equal to 0, your y is equal to 1. So this guy is going to be here. I'm just finding the uh, intersects. So this is going to be behaved like this. Okay, the intersect. x is equal to 0. And then what else do we have? When x is equal to 0, it means that you have your y-axis. So seems like the base is just going to be this triangle here. So y equals 2. Let me just write this guy up here and make it a little bit easier to read. This is y equals 2. x over 2 and from above. Just on top, you have this guy here, which is y equals to 2 minus x divided by 2. Well, you can do the algebra to find the intersection between them. But here you have x over 2 equals to 2 minus x divided by 2. So you get 2x equals to 2. As you can obviously see, x is equal to 1. Well, your x is bounded between 0 and 1 x is bounded between 0 and 1. Your y from below is bounded by x divided by 2. From above, it's bounded by 2 minus x divided by 
two. Very good. Okay, we don't need the rest of these, just use them to graph. Okay, awesome. Now let us find the volume. The volume is the double integral. The double integral of this ceiling, two minus x minus two y. And since our x is bounded between zero and one, we're going to take the integral dy dx. So this guy is equal to our x is bounded between zero and one, and our y is bounded between x over two, two minus x divided by two, two minus x minus two y d y dx. Very good. So this guy is equal to the integral zero to one. Now taking the integral with respect to y, we have two y minus x y minus y squared. Y is x over two y is 2 minus x over 2 or 1 minus x divided by 2 and then dx so this guy becomes 0 to 1 if i plug in 2 minus x 2 times 2 minus x divided by 2 minus x times 2 minus x divided by 2 minus here you have y squared so we get 2 minus x divided by 2 to the second and we have to continue this minus so x divided by 2 2 times x over 2 minus x times x over 2 minus x squared over 4 and then we have dx very good let's try to simplify this 0 to 1 you can cancel out 2 and 2 2 minus x and here we get negative x plus x squared divided by two minus, well, let me just leave it as it is. I don't wanna make it a little more messier than this. And here you have minus x plus x squared over two plus x squared over four. This guy gives us three x squared over four. And dx. So now we're taking the integral with respect to x divided by four that's correct because we are squaring this two squared or four thank you and this is going to be four on the denominator very good very well so now dx so can i simplify this negative two x Yes, 2 minus 2x and another one, negative 3x then. All right, okay. And here I have 3x squared over 4 and I get 5x squared over 4. And dx. Okay, let me see. Can I simplify this more? Is it possible? Or should we leave it as it is and then take the integral? Yeah, let's just take the integral. This guy is going to be 2x minus 3x squared over 2 plus 5x squared over 12. And here you get plus 2 minus x cubed divided by 12 and x is bounded between zero and one. So if I plug in one, we get two minus three halves plus five over 12 plus one over 12 minus, this is zero, this is zero, zero, and I get eight over 12, All right? Okay, let's see. This guy is equal to a half, 6 over 12 minus 2 over 12. For here, you get 6 over 12, which is 4 over 12 or a third. So the volume of the tetrahedra bounded by the planes is a third. 